right here today shooting and looking at the new uh, Colt Mustang XSP 380 uh, polymer pocket pistol. You know, the Mustang, uh, Colt reintroduced it a while back and we did a review on it. Nice little pistol, but this new polymer version has got some things on it that to me, it's improved a little bit better pistol than the standard pocket light. A uh, couple of things I really like on it is it's a, one, it's just, it's an ounce and a half lighter, which is good, you know, a little bit, makes it a little bit lighter. But it's got some things on the frame that uh, make it a little bit different. I got a new uh, pocket light out here to show you. The uh, the polymer frame is cut up a little little deeper here behind the trigger guard, so it makes you sit sit down in your hand a better, much like the Colt uh, XSE 1911 pistols. You know, and this is a good 1911 style little pistol. I like the squared trigger guard. I shoot with my finger, my of my support hand on the front of that trigger guard. Helps hold that muzzle down during the uh, uh, recoil. <clears throat> it also has an accessory rail here on the bottom of it, which the standard pocket light does not. Uh, and the main thing I like about it, it's got an ambidextrous safety on it. Standard pocket light does not, and left-handers like me, it leaves it where uh, it's a gun I won't carry because uh, it's a little harder to get to that safety to get it ready to fire. But it's, uh, like I said, it's a little bit lighter. It weighs about, uh, with an empty magazine in place, about 12.3 ounces, I believe it is with an empty six shot steel magazine in it <clears throat> and it comes with two of these magazines that's a good feature you know a lot of little pocket pistols on the market they just send you one i like having two or more so that's a good magazine comes in it use the same magazine <clears throat> as the mustang does it's got the i really like how the frame comes back here and protects your hand from hammer bite or slide bite coming over there but it's a good little pocket pistol it's got a good trigger pull on it about four and a half pounds you carry it cocked and locked, so when you're ready to fire, you can pull it out, pull the trigger. It don't have a long, long uh, trigger pull on it. Nice crisp trigger on it. You just push the safety down, you're ready to go. Now, you can carry it if you like. Hammer down, chamber one. I don't like to do that. I like to carry mine ready to go, so when it comes out of the pocket, it's ready to fire. Uh, when you put the safety on with the hammer down, it locks that hammer so you can't work the slide. But you carry it. With the uh, hammer back, one in the chamber, it's ready to go. It's perfectly safe to carry that way because you've got uh, uh, a couple things going to happen before it go off. you got to push that safety down. you got to pull the trigger. It also has a firing pin lock safety in it. It does not have a magazine disconnect safety in it, which I like. So if you uh, if your magazine gets dropped or whatever, you can still fire the weapon. Got a slide lock. Locks open on the last shot. Uh, strips down like a 1911. Uh, very easy to operate. If you like a 1911, you're going to love this little pocket gun. I like it. It's uh, lightweight, handy, reliable. It shot everything really well in here. <clears throat> I had one stumble with a, uh, a 90 grain hollow point buffalo bore load, and I had several uh, figures to feed with atomic uh, 90 grain hollow point. But everything else has run really well in it. The plus P stuff runs beautifully in it. Still easy to control. All the other loads are fired in it. Full metal jacket. Other hollow points have all run really well in it. But anyway, it's a good little pocket pistol, and it's available now from Colt. This is some Buffalo Bore 95 grain plus P ammo. Pretty hot for 380. Some of the most the hottest ammo you can get on the market is the Buffalo Bore plus P stuff. They make this 95 grain. They make a good hollow point load. It's a 90 grain, and they make a uh, 100 grain cast bullet. But this is a recoil is a little stiffer on these, but we're just going to demonstrate that it is still controllable shooting a plus P on this little Colt. Another plus P load we got in this little gun. It's the Buffalo Bore 90 grain jacket hollow point. Still very controllable. This little pistol, it feels good. It fits the hand really well. And uh, if you'll notice when I'm shooting, a lot of trainer sex not the way to do it, but I place my support finger in front of this trigger guard or square it off like that. That's the way we used to do it back in, in the old days, I guess. But now they say not do it, but it works for me. So, you know, I encourage people to shoot a gun however it works for you. It may not be the right way, but, you know, uh, I'm not an expert, so I'm not encumbered by all that expert stuff I'm supposed to know. I just shoot like it works for me, and we'll go run some buffalo bore through here. Now we're going to run some standard pressure buffalo bore 90 grain hollow point through here. A little bit easier to control than the plus P stuff, but still a good uh, high performance 380 load. 